Hello everyone, welcome back to the Talos Principle. We're going to jump back in right where we left off. We just had finished having a little chat with this little machine right here. And we're going to head ahead and... Head ahead? You know what I mean. We're going to go ahead and hopefully meet our father, the Maker. Let's go and have a look around. What's this? More puzzle rooms. What's this up here? Step into the light, child. And my temple will be revealed to you. I kind of want to do the puzzles first. I'm actually, I'm actually going to do the puzzles first. Poking a sleeping my child, lion. You do not need to collect all sigils at once. You are free to return to this place whenever you choose. Aha! There we go. So, uh... Jam that. Um, nope. Oh, oh, I know what I need to do. That was really stupid. Sorry, guys. <laughs> the guardians of here. this land may harm you, but do not resent them, for they are my servants, and they challenge you only so that your faith might be strengthened. He didn't challenge me. He blew me apart. That is by no means fair. I'm going to move this further away. Wait, shit. Um. How am I gonna do this? Oh, I forgot about the minigun. Oh dear. I think I have a plan. I think. But. The. Do that. I'm such an idiot. There we go. So we can take that now. Put you on that. We take you off there. Put you on there. And then we go. I made that entirely more difficult than I needed to. I'm so stupid. Okay. Are there any more QR codes hidden around here? Have a little look. You can't go over how good this game looks. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> Alright, let's go grab another piece from here. Oh, that's a lot of balls. Giggity. Um, yeah, I'm not liking that at all. Try it like this. Oh. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, actually. Um, I was, as soon as I saw those balls, I panicked. That's what she said. You are most diligent. Thank you. Perhaps I like to think this so. trait will serve you well in times to come. I'm hoping that it does. But look, there we go. We've got all the pieces in that area. Is that a secret thing or is that... I don't know. Let's just step into this and see what's going on. Oh, wow. You wow, walk look now at that. on the stones of my temple, whence many gates lead. That's beautiful. And know that I have other temples, for my garden is greater than your eye can encompass. And all these worlds I made for you. Oh, so we've got how many rooms in total? Seven, eight. Oh, what's that one? There's at least seven, plus some other weird stuff going on too. Oh wow, look at all these rooms. That's for A, I don't have enough for that one. This is amazing. I love the scale of this game. It really humbles you. Uh, I need one piece for that one, and one piece for that one. I don't know what these things are. Oh well. Let's go in one at a time and just work our way through. So we can get a good few pieces from this one. So, let's go straight in. Oh, 
Ooh, that was weird. Let this be our covenant. These worlds are yours, and you are free to walk amongst them and subdue them. Subdue them? That doesn't but sound But the quite great good. tower, there you may not go. For in the day that you do, you shall surely die. That's never a good sign. I don't I don't want to die, I want to become a mortal. Ah, so we have new items. Let's read them, shall we? Ian. From Frank Negatai. Subject, Ian. My first day at the Institute for Applied Pneumatics, on the way to work, I'm terrified. What if they don't like me? What if they're all geniuses and I'm a complete buffoon? Yeah, that sounds about like my life. Maybe they were just kidding about letting me work there. Trembling, I walk in, and right at the entrance, there's a life-size poster of Jeff Goldblum. What the hell? Then I get it. Institute for Applied Pneumatics. I-A-N. Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Jurassic Park movies. Jeff Goldblum. Dr. Sarabi shows up smiling. We were trying to find a cool acronym back when the Institute was founded. And she says, Inan? Iapn? Iapno? It all sounded stupid, but we didn't just want to call it Ian because, well, that's a name. Then someone made a joke about calling it Jeff, and it kind of stuck. So we're officially called Ian, but if you hear anyone referring to Jeff, that's our internal name, I guess. I know, I know. Bloody geeks. That sounds like exactly the kind of thing that me and my mates would do, just make up something ridiculously stupid like that. Um, so we have the Athena analysis. Let's have a look at that. User Alex16 added four notes. Novel's first sentence, you woke up in an impossible place knowing nothing signifies more than the beginning of another amnesia-based mystery, though we should not go so far as to read the entire work as allegory, rather while taking the science fictional novas at the core of the narrative of face value. We should... Okay, then that goes corrupt. Note 2. Having no inherent knowledge of the nature of the world, forced to rely on what we are told by others and what our own subjective, flawed and limited senses tell us... Look at all the numbers, this is weird. Social reality, belief and objective reality matter. I'm into conflict. This is really strange. I don't understand this. When, in chapter 16, a second awakening in the kingdom of Artemis, the protagonist questions her mentor on the blank. Note 4. A more meaningful interpretation can only be achieved through synthesis of... Okay, and then it cuts off. This is really surreal. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to understand this or whether it's just there to make me confused. Straton of Stagira. Whether it's true that Daedalus constructed the giant Talos, or as others say he was the creation of Hephaestus, what we may be certain of is that he was made of bronze, and he had but one vein, in which flowed a liquid substance like blood, which some claim was quicksilver, others assert was ichor, such as flows in the veins of the gods. The loss of that liquid caused him to die, as a man dies when he loses his blood. We may not then say that Talos, though created as a machine or toy, had all the essential properties of a man. He moved of his own volition, he spoke and could be spoken to, and had wishes and desires. Indeed, in the tale of the Argonauts, that was the cause of his downfall. If, then, a machine may have all the properties of a man, and act as a man while driven only by the ingenious plan of its construction, and the interaction of its materials according to the principles of nature, then does it not follow that man may also be seen as a machine? This contradicts all the schools of metaphysics, yet even the most faithful philosopher cannot live without his blood. That got real deep there for a second. That got real deep. Okay, so we have three pieces to gain in this area. It's, there's loads of stuff around. One that way, one that way. Just in front of me, though. I'm guessing that leads us back. Yeah, that leads us back, I think. Let's have a little look around, because... So much going on around here. Hmm. Look at this. This is stunning. Is there a way to get over there? Can I run? stay away from that. I don't think I'm supposed to go in water. Ooh. There's another machine, but this one looks a bit different. What's this machine? 
Ian, see, this is the, the institute thing. Unrecognized error detected. List. Library archive is currently unavailable while system resources are redirected to handle incoming network mess. Use the access com portal command to access network. Okay. Network inaccessible. Run troubleshooter. Yes. Hello guest, is there something you'd like help with them? Troubleshooting. I think you'd like help accessing network functions. The most common cause of network problems is holding insufficient account privileges. Please enter the admin password. Is it admin? Password incorrect. Uh, God. Trust no one. It must be trust no one. Would you like to create a new admin account? Yes, we do. In order to prevent unauthorized access to admin controls, please take a moment to prove you are not a bot. Well, technically, I am a robot, so... Part 1. Please complete all fields. Answer quickly and instinctively. Time is a factor in this assessment. Begin the certification program? Yes. 1. 2 plus 2 is definitely 4. Objective reaction to this image. What best describes a person? Uh, human being. You're walking through the desert and come across a thirsty traveller. His eyes bulge slowly for his duration. You have water, but not sure how far it is to the next station. We'll offer him half. Part one of the certification is now complete. You'll receive a notification when part two has been generated. Okay, so can we go into the next half now? Ah, oh, so we've accessed more information. That's pretty cool. The day I oft remember when from sleep I first awakened and found myself reposed, under a shade on flowers, much wondering where and what I was, whence thither brought and how. That's a bit like how we woke up, isn't it? Human machine. That's us really, isn't it? One day you discover you are not a human being, but a machine. Your life so far was real. No one controlled you or programmed you to behave in a specific way. Physical and mental cap uh, capacities are identical to those of an, an organic human being. But you were created in a lab. No one except you knows about this. Your family, your friends, they all think you're a regular human being like themselves. You could continue to live your life the way you have before. Nothing would change. How do you react? Pay specific attention to these questions. Does your concept of yourself change? Are you the same person you thought you were? Does your understanding of the world itself change? Do you reveal the information to others or keep it? That's a weird question to ask. Let's have a look at the last one. All these calm people are driving me mad. Have they all of a sudden turned into Buddha or something? I didn't know the world had such reserves of serenity. Oh, these latter-day Gatamars... Farmers? <laughs> are at least being somewhat realistic. You know what's even worse? Those paranoid nutters who are building bunkers and collecting guns. What are they going to do? Shoot shit? Oh, it's cut out. No. Though I have to admit, the overall response has been much better than I ever anticipated, to the point where I might be moved by the beauty of humanity if I wasn't such a grumpy old fart. <laughs> this in minority of total idiots is really messing up my final days. Anyway, the reason I'm writing this is because I refuse to believe in scenarios with absolutely no solution. We all put our heads together, we can figure something out. It'd be crazy, but crazy's better than dead. Okay, I'm not liking the look of this. Looks like there's something quite sinister going on in the background behind all of it. But, uh, let's just keep having a little explore. We've got a nice little island here to look at. I'm not seeing any more QR codes, so maybe we should go and do a puzzle. It'd be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? If I can find one. Ah, right, here we go. Puzzles? Puzzles? Who's got the puzzles? One puzzles? No puzzles. Let's go over here then. We definitely know there's a puzzle here. Oh, so we've got a ball. Oh, shh. Sugar. Sugar was the word I was going to use. Alright, we've got the gun. I'm just going to dodge this guy because I don't think we need to pin him down. Yeah, you go over there. How the fuck am I going to get past you? Keep it going, keep it going. There we go. I don't want to have to pin him. So don't, whoop. Very nearly pooped myself then. Alright. 
what have we got? What's going on? Ah, so we can just open this. Whoa! Do it here. Wait for him to go all the way over there, if he does. Then go in behind him. I think that's going to be our best bet. Come on, buddy. Through you go. Oh, fuck. We're going to need the other one. Ah, oh, I know what I've got to do. Do that like that. Jam him from there. Pick up our other little machine. Need to be quick, need to be quick. Oh yeah, see I was on it like Sonic right there. Actually we've got Good. another piece for eight. You are learning. As is your purpose. So it's our job to but your learn. choices okay. must be your own. Therefore, I will not guide you. Unless it is necessary. When would it be necessary? That sounds a little bit sinister to me. Hope you're enjoying this series so far, everyone. I'm really enjoying getting into this game at the moment. It's a hell of a lot of fun, and I love the puzzles. Um, I'm really hoping that you guys will join me in the next videos that I'm going to do for this one. I'm aiming to record a lot more of this because I'm really getting into it, as you can tell. But that's enough from me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you all in the next one.